Uh, draws me here, and we are continuing Call of Cthulhu, and I have just found a save point. So now we are trying to get into this shot. The window's smashed. I can see what looks like an old dark room. Hmm. No. What the hell? Why did I just get launched back? It's not what I wanted. Close that door. The door's bolted shut. Oh, will we? It's a room used for developing photographs. What else? The window's smashed. I can see what looks like an old dark room. I don't know where he is. I have to wait. This is brutal. I don't know. I don't want to, like, sneak out there. And he's, like, right there. Where is he? What the hell is that? Hello? Now he's going to walk back. I know you're coming, dude. Where are you? It's unlocked. Oh, I see what they did there. Okay. So if I see that, I can move things. So I want to move that. These shelves look light enough to push. Perhaps I could use them to block the door, to give me more time to look around. Oh my god! You fucking here. bastard, dude. Oh my god, you just scared the shit out of me. That alley leads around the back of the First National. Oh my god. You. you don't seize me, but I seize you. Hello there, guy. Bye. Is there 
no run button. What in God's name was that? Open. No. These shelves look light enough to push. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. It looks like I need some sort of lifting handle to... Get it open. It probably leads down to a storage... Yeah, I figured that. So Use it. Get the fuck down there, dude. There we go. Holy fuck, man. Oh, that was, like, intense. Oh, man. Whoever's down there, you can rock. Okay, then. Assorted foodstuffs. Nothing useful. Unless I need to eat. Book. It looks like a diary. The storage area is clutter free and well organized. can feel the air through holes in the brickwork here. Hmm. What will happen here? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck out of there. What? I have to jump on this thing. It's a dark room. There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, and they're dated 1846. Cool. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. All right, let's keep going. What is that? Watch out for ammo pickups. Okay. Okay. The old printing press appears to have been sabotaged. It's not good. Nothing of interest. Not an interest. General notices. They're all general notices. They're all dated 1846. No. Same door you encounter will be blue. 
Okay. What the fuck? Holy shit! What the hell me? Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest here. Body hanging. Can't see anything of use. Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. I'm going insane if I stare at that. That's fucked. Just want to investigate some more. The poor woman must have taken her own life. I wonder what could have driven her to such a desperate act. Yeah. Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. Okay then. It won't budge. The door's bolted shut. Hello, Jack. No. Oh. Do I know you? Lucas Mack. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Mm hmm Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True what enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob yeah. Marsh. Okay, maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. Yeah. I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Let's just save it. Yeah. Back it up. Let's go. What are you hiding from me? I just want to know what it you're won't budge. hiding. Kind of creepy. Now, where is that drunken man? I gotta give him his booze. No. Wait, can I go left? I'm so confused, I don't know where I'm going. I think I'm going down this way. If you pardon my asking, have you lived here in this port all your life? Less than a sudden years in old lady Warren's house. Before that, over by the fishing canary. Can canary. <laughs> Old Lady Warren's house? Go and fetch me a bottle of something to wet old Zidok's whistle, and I'll tell you all. 
Yeah, I can do that. We just... Yeah, get drunk. Cheers. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Yeah, okay. What was that, a key? Is that it? Yeah. Now you be calling me crazy. Like them that start rumoring an anchor on an lip switch. What? But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Okay. Mm. Uh, old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Okay. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Um, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and 30 of his fathers were in jail. That ain't good. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of 46, them's out outside of reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them swarms of them. Swarms? Look, old man, I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, psst, was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead fucked. and the dying. Shooting the sky. Screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were knowing <laughs> what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all this? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. Oh god. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. That's not good. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Well, thank you. Well, that's the end of that episode. So if you guys liked it, hit the like button. If you guys hate it, hit the dislike button. If you guys want to see more, subscribe. Ha <laughs> ha! Tonight, boys, we must fight. But the winds which shower us yell Until next time. Never scare the mariners. This is called Cthulhu.